Okay, y'all, so I promised y'all a freaking grocery haul. So I am two hours later and I'm back from the grocery store. Don't mind how ratchet I'm looking and I'm sweaty. But I'm just going to give y'all a really quick grocery haul of my breakfast, lunch, and dinner for this week. So, um. Um, yeah, let's just get started. First thing I got is the Premier Protein Shakes. Y'all know I had those all last week, so I definitely made sure I got me some more. Um, this one is the Strawberries and Cream. And y'all, I was so tempted to pick up the um, Starbucks Caramel Coffee that um, I got this instead. So this is the Premier Protein um, Cafe Latte. So, I'm going to try that. I've never had this flavor before, and I've never heard anybody talk about this flavor. So, I really hope that it's good, but I'll let y'all know. Um, I got me some almond milk to go with my cereal, or just if I'm in the mood for a glass of milk, I'll do almond milk. And I'll also be putting it in smoothies if I decide to make a homemade smoothie because I have so many... Um, frozen fruits and stuff over there in the freezer that I have had forever and I just haven't used them because I'm lazy. Um, so yeah, so got me some regular almond milk. I have turkey kielbasa. So what I'll do is slice off about, y'all I ain't good at measurements. So I'll take about this much off at a time. Um, I will fry that and um, just chop it in slices and just have just the meat. Just have the um, turkey kielbasa. And I might have that like with the protein shake. And then I got me some Egglands, regular, just a carton of eggs. And this will be so that I can do boiled eggs. And I also have a boiled egg maker. So um, if I boil me some eggs this evening, then I will turn on the boiled egg maker and show y'all how it's made in case you're thinking about purchasing one. Now, let's move on to my lunch for this week. Um, oh, trigger warning. I have items that are um, healthy and non-healthy. Y'all know I am baby stepping. I am slowly transitioning into eating healthy. So some of this stuff is not right. So uh, y'all health fanatics don't come after me. It's like, come on, that's not. Look, I know. Don't start with me.
be about it besides this bag right here that I'm not going to act like y'all don't see. Um, we're about to have lunch. It's Jersey Mike's. So me and Alana both have turkey sandwiches and chips for lunch. And we'll probably have some water to drink. I know I'm going to have water to drink. Um, and we both have crystal lights if we want to put the crystal light in there. But yeah, so I promised y'all a grocery haul and that was the motherfucking grocery haul. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, I'm about to have lunch. I don't know what else is going to go on throughout the day. Um, it's Sunday, so my grandma is probably going to be here at some point with Sunday dinner. And depending on what it is, it might entice me or it might not. I might just make me a salad and have some water and take my ass to bed. So, you know, I'm going to let y'all know either way. And then also this week, this week starts the, um, this week starts me wearing my um, waist trainer. So starting in the morning, I will make sure that I get up early enough to incorporate getting that damn waist trainer around all of this in the morning. So uh, yeah, I'll let y'all know how that goes. We start back wearing our waist trainer and we're gonna start back, um, well, listen, I ain't no start back. We're going to attempt to start taking the teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in the mornings so um when i get up and take y'all to the scale nope when i get up and talk to y'all i'm not taking y'all to the scale in the mornings this week remember i told y'all i'm only weighing in once a week after this week that just passed so um i won't get on the scale i got on the scale today i will not get on the scale again until next sunday or monday rather um, so yeah, boop, 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 boop. I guess that's it. I'm tickling the hell out of Alana and we need to put these groceries up and get ready to eat. So we'll talk to y'all later. Bye guys. So, okay. What are your, what are your love goals for 2021? Oh, I don't have any. I'm loving on me. Yes, honey, I'm loving on, okay. I'm loving on P-Hope. Okay, y'all, this is, I'm going to talk through it because I don't know which one I'm going to use. I'm about to use the egg maker. I told y'all I was going to show y'all um, if I decided to boil some eggs, and I did decide to. So, this is what I'm using. It is called the All-in-One. Um, egg maker by dash so it's designed to do hard boil soft boil um uh oh sorry y'all all in one hard boil soft boil poached and omelets it does all of that and it's really little and cute um i zoomed in as close as i could let me see if i can bring y'all in a little bit more Don't mind my ghetto ass um, tripod. Okay. So, y'all, this is it. It's so little and cute. Uh, really easy to clean, really easy to store. And then this little part right here, this little cup that you see, this is the water that you put in there. I know my camera is probably not going to pick up on exactly what the cup says, but... Um, you have, if you want a soft boiled egg, this is your water line. If you want a medium, then this is your water line. And if you want hard boiled, then this is your medium. I mean, this is your water line. Um, and so I like mine super hard boiled. So I'm going to go just a little bit above the line. Okay, so there we go. That's the water line that I'm going to be using. And then all you do is pour the water directly onto this metal pan and then plug it up. Now, while the water's getting warm, you take your little egg tray. I'm going to rinse my tray off real quick.
So um, this is your little egg tray and it just sits directly on top like so. And then you take your water cup and it has this little lid on the bottom of it. You pop that lid off and at the bottom of that, under that lid is a little um, needle. I know uh, it's hard to pick up on clear stuff on the camera. But anyway, y'all, the needle is right here. So what you do with that needle is you take your egg and you literally poke a hole in the bottom of the egg. Now watch me. Watch me crack an egg just because y'all looking. Just watch now. And boom, just like that, it puts a little bit, it punctures a little bitty hole in the bottom of the egg. And then you just set your egg right there. I don't know why I got some big eggs in here and some small. But we're going to roll with it. I'm going to try to get rid of these big eggs. One egg in the middle. And one right there. And now, since some of my water started um some of my water started boiling out before I got all the little eggs in there, I'm just gonna add just a little bit more. And then you take your cover. And you lock it in. Y'all, isn't that cute enough and neat enough? And so as soon as... There we go. And so as soon as your um, water has boiled out, that lets you know that the eggs are done. So that is simple and, and, and easy enough for me because I told y'all I don't cook. I don't like to cook, so I like things that make life nice and easy. And um, this is another thing that makes life nice and easy. And it um, it's just cute to have in your refrigerator, and it makes it where you can actually stack stuff on top of your eggs instead of keeping it in the egg carton. This is a um, this is by Rubbermaid, and it's called the Egg Keeper. It's an egg keeper. So, um, I don't know if this was made for like devil eggs or something. It don't look like it. But anyway, we put our regular um, raw eggs in here. And that's what we keep our eggs in in the refrigerator. So, yeah, man. And while I got y'all, I will show y'all. Let me see if the little pan's still hot. Now, y'all know I don't cook, so don't talk about me. But this is the chicken that I ended up making. So, <laughs> this is the chicken that I ended up making. And that's what this is. That's the chicken that I was showing y'all earlier in the grocery haul. This one is the spicy, what it would call? Spicy chicken breast cutlets. That's what this one is. And I overcooked mine and I overcooked it on purpose because... Oh... <laughs> Don't mind her, y'all. I I got my friend on speakerphone, and she's absolutely tickled because she know I don't cook. We talk about this stuff all the time, and she know this is not what I do. So anyway, um, my eggs boiling, my chicken is done, and while my eggs are boiling, I'm about to prep all my lunch, my breakfast, lunch, and dinner for tomorrow, so that I won't have no problems getting up in the morning and getting my life together. So yeah.
is the cafe latte. Come on, focus. Y'all ain't gonna stop till he focus. There he go. Yes, the cafe latte by Premier Protein. Oh my God. Because I don't know if I was telling y'all this, but I was starting to have a real addiction to the Starbucks caramel, um, I guess they just cold coffees. You know, you, you um, cold brew. They come in that little glass bottle. Y'all, I was becoming addicted to those. But I I know that they're bad for you. They're high in sugar and um, you can get addicted to drinking coffee. But baby, this right here, I ain't gonna mind being addicted to this, and I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. They said this equals one cup of coffee. Listen, they done sold me. I ain't even gonna lie. They done sold me with this one, so I hope that the protein that they claim is in there is really in there because they gonna get some money out of me with this one. Um, this was all that I had for breakfast. I had one of these around um 8 45 i had my protein shake a little late today because i walked into work running my mouth but i had that around 8 45 then a little bit after 10 o'clock i had the um sliced apples and um the little small box of raisins um so i had apples and raisins for break then at two o'clock i had lunch which was absolutely wonderful um i had the baby spinach i had about five baby carrots a half of one of those mini cucumbers that y'all saw on my grocery haul um two boiled eggs and the pack of the lemon pepper um well i packed the star kiss tuna the one i showed y'all on the grocery haul but when i got to work this morning my co-worker had a lemon pepper bumblebee tuna pack sitting there because he remembered that i asked him about that a couple of weeks ago so he had remembered to bring me one thank you Callie. but um i was coming home getting ready to eat dinner. My coworkers, I don't know why they keep feeding me here lately. It's like, <laughs> I haven't told nobody that I'm dieting and, you know, that trying to do right and get on, you know, a whole nother eating regimen or whatever. But it's like my male coworkers have just really been trying to feed me. So, you know, the, the lemon pepper tuna that he bought me, that was fine. That was still within my um, nutrition schedule. But, um... Let me show y'all what my other co-worker brought me today. And I just got it out the microwave. Y'all, he done bought, he made steak, he made smothered steak and gravy last night with rice and butter beans. And that was the plate that he bought me. And then this is that piece of spicy chicken that y'all saw me cook. So um, I put that on the plate because I don't eat steak. So I don't know if I'm going to like it. But, you know, um, he puts his heart and soul into his food. So, you know, I'm definitely going to taste it. But I've already tasted like the gravy and the rice and stuff. And it's really, really good. Seasoned really well. But none of this crap besides the chicken... It's actually on my diet, but um, I just love my coworker so much, and he's so sweet. Hey, Brian, he's also a supporter of the channel, so you know, I you know, if somebody takes their time to make me something to eat, like who am I to be like? No, I don't want your damn cooking. Like, no, I know I'm in safe hands, clean hands, and he really can cook, so um, I wasn't gonna turn his food down. So I got potatoes. Um, he had me some butter beans on the plate as well. And I was trying to call him back to ask him what kind of meat was in the butter beans. But, um, he didn't answer the phone. So, I ended up not eating the butter beans because they have some kind of meat in it. And I don't know what that is. So, I did not eat the beans. But then we got rice with gravy, the steak and potatoes. And I paired it with... Cause you know your grandma, your grandparents always tell you, don't um, you should always have something green on your plate. So the thing that I made green was the um, broccoli florets that y'all saw in the grocery haul, 
And um, the whole purpose of me cutting the Dadgum camera on was for me to show y'all the ISO Detox Tea. So this is it in my little jar. And what I do, you know, since it's dinner time, and um, you know, I don't wanna feel like I'm just drinking water or drinking something with no taste in it. I just take one little crystal light pack. This is the lemonade flavor. And hold on, let me slide my plate out of the way for a second. Okay. Just drop it in there. So for those of you all that don't like the taste of tea, you don't want to look at nothing and make you even feel like you're drinking tea. Because I know it's a lot of people that are not from the South, so you're not tea drinkers. So this is something great for you to do, is to um, still make you the detox tea, buy you whatever flavor crystal lights you have. I've told y'all that a million times. Drop it in, shake it up, and there you go. You don't see no kind of tea. All you see is the lemonade. And it tastes just like lemonade. It doesn't have no tea flavor. So um, I just wanted to share that with y'all. So that's, now y'all know what I had to eat for today. I did really good all the way up until dinner. So, <laughs> so it is what it is. And hopefully, you know, we'll still have some good results by the end of the week. But anyway, I hope y'all's Monday is going as fabulous as mine is. And I will talk to y'all later. Good night. Hey, y'all. Y'all, I done popped my wig off. I just got home from work. Oh, well, I still got the mask on. That's how you know I just got home from work. I still have my mask on. Sorry if y'all couldn't really tell what I was saying. But this one was that Sofrito chicken breast that I showed y'all on the grocery haul. But, you know, it had these Brussels sprouts. You remember it had these Brussels sprouts mixed in with the chicken. So, I was all prepared to come home and saute these Brussels sprouts and put onions and peppers and all of that in it. But y'all, I walked through the door and my mama was literally frying some cabbage. So look at this. She done already made fried cabbage with the um, onions and peppers and all the good seasonings and stuff in there. So. Um, ain't no need of me making these Brussels sprouts right now. So I put the Brussels sprouts in this sandwich bag and I'm just about to, um, so I rinsed this chicken off. So it's only got a little bit of the sofrito seasoning left. So I'm just going to kind of re-season it and put it in the oven. The oven is preheating right now on 375. So let's see what we're going to add to it. Okay, I wish I had some lemon pepper, but I don't. So this is what we're gonna go with. Some onion salt. Some garlic salt. Lowry season salt, and that's enough damn salt, okay? Now, let's get some pepper look at me making a mess some pepper and I'm going to do a little bit of garlic powder instead of garlic salt so that I can really get that garlic flavor in there without over salting it now let me get I know y'all laughing at me because I can't cook. But it's okay. I'm laughing at me too. Because I'm going to get good one day. Now we're going to take some of this here butter. And slap it in the pan. Y'all I honestly don't know how much butter is too much or not enough. So you cooks out there. Don't come for me. And some people put butter on the meat. Do I need to put the butter on my meat, y'all? Alright. Now, it says that this is supposed to cook for 30 minutes. But um, I told y'all I like my chicken overdone because I'm just scary like that. 
So um, I'll check it at 30 minutes, but I'm probably gonna leave it in there longer than that. Where, where's my lumen for? Yeah, look at it. Look at the lumen for. <laughs> Boy, you know what? And I just came out of the grocery store. Look at the damn lumen for now. Mom, you got some lumen for? Mm -hmm. Make me say it wrong, huh? Okay. Y'all, I'm I'm in I'm having a dilemma. The meal didn't come with no aluminum foil. What I supposed to do? Y'all don't don't. Cause I know somebody out there is doing it right now. Just stop, okay? Oh my god. Y'all, wax paper not gonna hold. Why can I put wax paper? <sighs> y'all, now I'm getting sad because I feel like my chicken gonna dry out. I should have kept the damn piece of aluminum foil from um Sunday if I knew that, or I just you know bought some while I was at the store. That'd be great. <laughs> oh. Last night, let's make the tea right quick. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So, we um we had to transport out the way of the kishion because it's dinner time. But I just wanted to make the tea for y'all right quick. And this has been steeping for probably a little over 24 hours now. I don't know if y'all can really see down in there. I ain't trying to spill it. It costs too much. There it is. You see how dark it is? So that's why you only um, steep a little bit at a time. A little bit of water while you let it steep. Okay. And you just put it in like that. Now a lot of people and I used to a lot of people um, take the tea bag and actually stick it down in a gallon so that the tea bag can just continue to um, you know, marinate down in the gallon the whole time that they're drinking it. But for me, I have had too many experiences where the bag busted at some point and then it was just too much for me. So, I just like to let it get as dark as possible. And there you have it. And then you just pour the rest of your distilled water into your gallon. All right, there you have it. So y'all, how I plan on um doing with the tea this time, y'all know all um last week and all this week I was drinking 16 ounces every night. And I'm still continuing to do that and it's very much still doing its job. So um, I think I'm pretty much, you know, to a clean system. I think I pretty much have a clean system at this point. So starting next Monday, I'm going to drink the tea every other day and see how that does for my body. And then, you know, just slowly kind of um, wind it back. Okay, y'all, there's the finished product. I told y'all I like my meat really, really well done. So I ended up keeping it in there for about 45 minutes. And then I broiled it for the, about the last, ooh, I probably broiled it for about 7 to 10 minutes. Because for me, I would rather have my meat dried out and know that it's done than to be having it juicy and, you know, still kind of wondering, is she done or is she not done? But yeah, that's it y'all. So I'm excited about the way it turned out and I'll let you guys know how it tastes. 
Well, hello there. How y'all doing tonight on this beautiful, what is this, Wednesday night? So this is Wednesday of week two. And I just want to fill y'all in on my regimen. I'm actually getting ready to do a video. That's why I'm looking like um, Thelma, a black uh, Thelma from Scooby-Doo. Um, and y'all didn't get just a voiceover or just, you know, me with some food in your face. I actually have some hair on top of my head. So I figured, hey, why not talk to the people? Um... So, for breakfast this morning, I had the Premier Protein um, Cafe Latte again. And I had that with a whole banana. I did a whole banana today instead of a half of a banana. I don't know if I told y'all that I split a banana with one of my co-workers yesterday. Of course, I get on here and decide to pick at a bump in my chin. Like, how professional is that? Anyway, um, yeah, so I split a half a banana yesterday, but today I had the whole banana and the Premier Protein Shake. Um, at 10 o'clock snack, I had a Nature Valley peanut bar and some raisins. Um, for lunch, I had the lemon pepper tuna with the baby spinach leaves and two boiled eggs and the uh, carrots a half a cucumber and the oil and vinegar dressing so my uh, lunch was very very filling and then for dessert I had a nature valley cinnamon um, granola bar and I did that with a bottle of water. I drank my whole bottle of water. So I had 16 ounces of water. And. <clears throat> 16 ounces of water. And then I got home for dinner. And I was all prepared to eat the chicken. That um, I cooked in the oven yesterday. But my mom was cooking. So y'all we know that this is going to be a hurdle. That I'm going to have to jump. That you know. When I walk through the door and my mom is already cooking, I'm still going to have to fight those feelings of not eating what she cooked. But I did not fight it tonight. So tonight when I walked through the door, she was cooking homemade chicken quesadillas. So that consisted of two pieces of tortilla bread, um, you know, a layer of tortilla, um, mozzarella cheese grilled chicken and then another tortilla bread on the top um i wasn't much concerned about the tortilla i mean about the cheese or the grilled chicken because that's something that i would have prepared for myself but um i know that the two tortillas made into a sandwich like that's a lot of bread but <clears throat> i still ended up doing it so uh yeah I had the chicken quesadilla and then she sauteed red onions, green, red onions, red peppers, red peppers, green peppers, and onions. She paired um, with that. So I had that on top of mine. And then I also had salsa and she made french fries. And then I had drunk that with the detox tea. So, um... Yeah, it, I ain't do good. I did not do good for dinner again tonight. <sighs> Which is very disappointing because it's hump day. And I'm still looking for good numbers on the scale. But I'm not doing right. So it's kind of like I'm asking for a miracle at this point. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyway... Yeah, that was my night. Now I'm getting ready to record. Um, I'm getting ready to do a late, very late, Love After Lockup review. This is for last week, um, so I can catch up with the one that's going to come on this Friday. So, um, yeah, I got to get that done because I do actually treat YouTube like a job. Like, even though it's a hobby for me, 
Um, I like to try to be as consistent and as dedicated to it as possible. So, um, just like I try to get my reviews out, whether I get them out on time or late, I still get them out. So I'm going to continue to do this journey with you guys as well. Like I'm going to be dedicated to it too. So I'm not going to tell y'all like specific dates, specific times that I'm going to drop videos. I'm just going to work on my consistency first. And then once I get it together, we'll have a consistent schedule. But um, either way it goes, you will always get content from me because I have mentally set out in my mind to do this to get it done so you know i'm pretty hopeful that i'm i'm gonna succeed in it and i'm gonna do well so you know if you can't believe in yourself then who the hell can you believe in where could you go so all right y'all i got work to do so that i can go to work in the morning sheesh talk to y'all tomorrow bye Ooh. Good morning, y'all. I'm just coming downstairs. Today is Monday, January 25th. And I do not have the camera facing your way. You can go home about your business. Yeah! Clap down. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, y'all, today is January 25th, Monday morning. Um, actually running a little bit behind for work but not too far behind that I cannot, I've already showered and everything, so um, I just need to weigh in really quickly and then I'm gonna go on and put my clothes on and get up out of here. So let me just show y'all. See, there's the alarm going off. I'm supposed to be up out of here. All right, let me set y'all down right quick. Um, that's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be, y'all. We are 351.2 this morning. That's 351.2. And I know you're probably saying, like, what are you talking about, girl? Like, the scale is going up, not down. But you got to take five pounds off of that 351 because, um... I'm always five pounds up when it is that time of the month for me. So, um, by the end of this week, well, I only weigh in once a week for y'all now. So, by the next weigh in, um, it should be about eight pounds taken off of that. If I do right for the whole week, which I'm definitely planning on. I finally got all the birthday parties and the fool la la out the way so um i should be able to stay on track as far as not being influenced by going out to restaurants and eating the wrong thing and uh i definitely had I definitely had junk food a majority of the weekend. I know I've had IHOP this weekend. Y'all, I can't breathe coming up the steps. Shit. I had IHOP, which I purchased it. I had waffles, hash browns, and they got this new burrito thing. But I took three bites of the burrito, and I was over it. Um, it didn't hit like I wanted it to. The waffle come in four squares. I only ate one of the squares. The hash browns, I probably took literally one pinch of because I didn't have a fork to eat it with and I was too sorry to get up and get the fork. So I just didn't eat the shit. And I was drinking water with that. So that was IHOP. Then that night I got hungry and so, at like 11 o'clock at night, I went to Papa John's and got me the Works Pizza. I ate three slices of pizza that night. Then that Sunday, what I have? That was just yesterday. What I eat yesterday? Four more slices of pizza was what I had yesterday. 
But I did do my cooking and my meal prepper for this week. I went to the grocery store yesterday. So I pretty much got the same thing. I added a couple of more fruits and vegetables to the regimen this week. I forgot to show y'all what I'm taking today. But this what I'm saying by like shit be getting thrown off. And I need to learn how to just say no. But y'all this okay. We are still in the first 30 days. So I'm going to just relax. But anyway, so I got the strawberries and cream protein shake for my 8 o'clock breakfast. 10 o'clock snack, I have blueberries and a peach. And for lunch, my co-worker is bringing me lunch again. Even though I keep telling him that I'm trying to be on a diet, I'm trying to do right. He just wants me to, you know, um, experience his cooking. So, um, and I didn't eat his food in front of him last time. So, I think he feels like I didn't eat it, even though I did. But anyway, so he wants me to eat it in front of him today at lunch. So he's bringing me neck bones, which I've never had in my life. I asked him, who the hell's neck is this that I'm about to eat? He says the neck of a pig. So I told him, look, just bring me one of whatever this is. So I'm about to eat a neck bone, some rice, and some green beans that he said has smoked turkey in it. <sighs> Y'all, that's not on my, because it's in gravy. So, none of that stuff is on my um, healthy lifestyle list. But, like I said, that's just one of them things where I'm going to have to learn how to speak up and say, Hey, yeah, no, that's not on my regimen. I can't do it. But, you know, thanks anyway. But I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to eat it today. And I also have a cucumber and a boiled egg to go with that. And then... Um, I made the chicken kebabs last night, y'all. I was so tired and irritated that I did not turn the camera on to show y'all. But when I get home this afternoon, I'm going to show y'all because I cooked chicken kebabs and I also finally cooked those Brussels sprouts and I mixed in some spinach with it with the bell peppers and onions. So I'm going to show y'all my dinner definitely when I get home this afternoon. But I hope everybody is having a great Monday and I'll see y'all when I get back home. Bye guys. What's wrong with it? Why is it not focusing? Is my food so gross that it won't even focus? That's crazy. Okay, sorry y'all. The camera had got mental health for just a second. But anyway, like I was telling y'all, I know it looks absolutely disgusting. But this is the um brussels sprouts and i mixed it with um spinach onions red peppers green peppers and a couple of other seasonings and onions and then this is the chicken kebab which is onions bell peppers and white chicken breast and that is in a Publix already had it in a mustard sauce and then I added chicken broth and my own seasonings to it as well. So I'm not sure what those seeds are on the top, but they didn't have a taste. Um, so yeah, that's what I have for dinner tonight. And for lunch tomorrow, and that'll be tomorrow night's dinner as well. So I won't come back tomorrow night and show y'all what's for dinner. But um, tomorrow morning's routine will be the strawberries and cream premier protein shake at eight o'clock 10 o'clock i got some beautiful um red grapes and then those are blueberries back there in the corner so we got grapes and blueberry mix and then for lunch i got salad i did um I don't want to stick my hand up under there, but if y'all can see like down in that little area or whatever, um, I have American, the, the Fresh Express American Blend Salad. I, I got the baby spinach leaves on top, one boiled egg, a baby cucumber, um, and I also have baby carrots down in there. And then to go with that, I have a Sargento. A Sargento cheese stick. Okay, it's still trying to act ugly on the focus, but that's okay. Um, that's a shock. Sargento. Now I want to show. Sargento cheese stick. That's the Colby Jack cheese. 
and this is my protein to go in the salad um i done got addicted to this star kiss um tuna creation so this is the lemon pepper one when i get stuck on something lord have mercy i just get out of hand so this will be the order right here and then um i have the that's my refrigerator yelling for me to shut it um the oil and vinegar dressing so go with that and i also have a dessert which will be the um nature valley sweet salty peanut butter bar so yeah this is so that's how that'll go eight o'clock ten o'clock maybe twelve o'clock two o'clock all of this on the end is two o'clock and then i generally eat dinner um anywhere between six and seven p.m so yeah y'all been doing good gonna continue to keep going so just wanted to update y'all for today and i'll catch y'all in the morning bye good morning today is thursday january 28th 2021 and i am almost ready to close uh oh sorry y'all my alarm going off let's go cut that off i'm almost ready to close this month's journal out um just wanted to fill you guys in on a couple of things that's been going on throughout this week um i definitely feel like i done way better this week than I have on any other week since I've started. So that lets me know that, um, yeah, I'm going to turn this way because it's kind of awkward. But I was trying to face the light because I know y'all probably like, why are you so dark? But um, anyway, um, like I said, I've probably done better this week than um, I've ever done since I started. Because I have definitely stayed on track um, as far as eating right for the most part. Now, um, I packed my lunch on Tuesday. I packed my lunch on Tuesday and it was a good lunch. I was excited about it. So my lunch was, I think I actually recorded that on Monday. So um, it was going to be the lemon pepper tuna salad. Um, and I had that little cup of dressing that I, the oil and vinegar dressing. Now, what happened was when I got ready to go to work, I grabbed the bag and I headed off to work. But when I got in the car, I don't know where my mind was, but I just slung the bag on the passenger seat. And it still didn't dawn on me what was going on, but by the time I got to work, I was smelling this loud vinegar smell, but I still couldn't figure out where it was coming from. I didn't figure out where it was coming from until I got to my desk and it was all over my little area where I sit my lunch bag. And I was like, what in the world is this? And so when I opened the bag, y'all, it was dressing everywhere. I had to go to the um, break room and wash all everything in my bag off all my snacks my fruit everything had oil and vinegar on it so um what happened was because i did not have the oil and vinegar dressing and i couldn't think of nowhere that had a dressing that i wanted besides me going over to kroger and buying a whole new bottle which i had just refused to do i decided that i was going to zaxby's so that's something that I really need to work on for real as far as um <clears throat> making bad food decisions just because something don't go my way. But I did it and I knew I was doing it in the moment that I was doing it. So because I couldn't get the damn oil and vinegar dressing that I wanted, even though I did order um dressing at Zaxby's, I ended up asking them to uh, give me whatever a uh, one pack of whatever vinaigrette dressing that they have um i don't know it just didn't look appealing to me so i ended up ordering um their little grilled cheese combo so i had a grilled cheese sandwich fries and a water and y'all 
because I have been eating so much baked food and I have been, you know, doing right as far as my fruits and vegetables and things like that. Soon as I ate that grilled cheeseburger and no fries, y'all, my stomach flipped upside down. I just knew I was about to start vomiting everywhere. I was sick for a couple of hours. I didn't get much work done. And when I came back from lunch, like my stomach was literally in knots and I was very nauseous. But it didn't come up. Um, I remember one time a couple of years ago, this probably been about two years ago when I was um, eating right. And I was also working out at the time. And I remember being starving one day when I was coming from the gym. And uh, so I was like, let me stop at Chick-fil-A and just grab something. Y'all, I went through the Chick-fil-A line and got a small fry and a water. Or it might have been a large fry. I don't remember, but all I remember was I ordered a fry and a water. Y'all, I told them fries up. And I didn't even make it across the street. That There is a red light at the Chick-fil-A. By the time I got across the street at that red light, I had to pull over in the next plaza. And I, them fries was all over the ground. That's all I'm going to say. Like, my body was like, no, I rebuke this in the name of baby Jesus. And I said, okay. And so I knew when I ate that Zaxby's and I started feeling like that, I knew that's what it was. It was because my body has not had this fat like this and this grease like this, all of this butter, all of this grease from the fries, the uh, butter off of the grilled cheese sandwich. Like I haven't been eating like that. So my body is trying to reject it, but, um, but it didn't come up, but it was a no for me. And the thing about the thing was I've been doing right to the point where it wasn't even good. Like I'm not craving it no more. I don't want it. I didn't want it then, but I get irritated when things don't go my way as far as dealing with food. Um, and I have to figure out what that relationship is that I have with food. I really do. I need to get that together because, um, I just feel like that's 90% of my problem. Like, food is not the whole reason that I got to this size that I'm at. But in my current state, food is the reason that I look the way that I look and that I weigh the amount that I weigh. Because I have a really serious relationship with food. And I, I, I honestly want to figure out what that is because it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating. But um, I'm about to take y'all downstairs right quick. I know that I said I was going to weigh in once a week. But something is just telling me to weigh in today. I'm still on my cycle. So um, I'm not expecting the scale to be, um, you know, this wonderful number. But it's just something telling me to weigh in. So we're about to go weigh in. And then I will show you guys what is going to be. I'm trying to get my shoe on y'all. Sorry. And then I'll show y'all what I'm taking to work today. And then I'm going to let y'all go. And today is Thursday. So I probably won't see y'all no more until Sunday. Or Monday morning. Sunday or Monday when I... um. When it's time for me to do my last weigh-in for January, I'm actually excited because <laughs> then that means it's time for me to edit everything and post it. I haven't told nobody, y'all. I haven't told. I don't think I told none of my friends. And, of course, my family know that I've been doing this because they hear me every morning. So, they know I've been doing a journal. But I haven't really talked to my friends um, or my family about doing this um, virtual diary. Today is 349.0. 349.0, which is fine with me. Because, like I said, 
I am still on my cycle, so I have to account for some bloating. Um, I have to account for, I have to account for, um, that Zaxby's that I ain't had no business eating. And, um, I have also slowed up on taking the detox tea. So there it is, y'all. This is what I'm taking to work today. I got the strawberries and cream premier protein shake. Um, what's inside of here? is some blueberries a peach and that's a cucumber the green thing that you see and y'all know i usually always have a boiled egg but um i ran out of boiled eggs so that's gonna be it till i go back to the grocery store over the weekend i got some cheez it's um just in case i have any kind of little hunger attack between um my break and my lunch which is a couple of hours apart and as you can see, these are 140 calories. And then I have a Lean Cuisine. This is the Chicken Teriyaki Bowl. And it is 310 calories. The sodium in it is 700. So, um, you know, it's not necessarily the healthiest thing that I can... Um, it's not necessarily the healthiest thing that I could be eating, but it is not a double cheeseburger and it damn sure ain't that Zaxby's that I ain't had no business eating the other day. And then for um, my dessert, because I feel like I have to have dessert after every meal, which is another thing we're going to have to talk about. But anyway, I got this um, Nature Valley peanut bar and it is 170 calories. So all together, what is that? Let's see, but that between just breakfast and um, okay, two. This I know the cucumber is zero, the blueberries are zero. I don't know if a peach has. Do y'all know if a peach has any calories in it? We'll say like thirty. So we had two hundred and thirty. So, um, everything you see right here is about 710 calories. So, um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that would leave me 500 if I was on a 1200 calorie diet. Which I don't count calories, y'all. I don't know what made me just add all this up for y'all. So, I, I could still come home and eat a 500 calorie um, dinner. Or um, if I wanted to do a lower calorie dinner and add some more snacks in between there, I could do that and still be good. So, um, yeah, this looks pretty good to me. But like I said, I probably won't um, see you all anymore until Sunday when I wrap up my um, January diary. And I hope that you all have a blessed week. Have a blessed weekend. I love you all. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. morning 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 today is january 30th so i actually have one more day before the end of the month but i'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out because i want to get it edited and get it out um this week sometime this week i'm gonna drop it probably maybe on wednesday i know a lot of people do like weight loss wednesday so i might drop this video on wednesday so i'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog out today so I just want to get on the scale for one last time for this month to give y'all my final 30-day um, weight loss update. And remember that this number, wherever we started, well, we started at 357 point something. And um, so whatever this number is, that is 30 days of just switching up my eating habits. So let's see what we get. There it is. That's what I wanted. 345.6 345.6 is what we ended out with for the first 30 days so we lost 11 pounds just by switching up those eating habits and y'all know i had a whole lot of whole lot of mistakes throughout these 30 days 
And um, I'm still going to have mistakes throughout February. But I am going to... Uh-oh. Y'all, yeah, I'm still on my screen. I'm sorry. On my on the lens. But um, I'm going to eventually get to a point where I can um, get that under a lot more control than what I have. But, you know, it's only the first 30 days. And I'm doing this all by myself. So... I just have to continue to be honest with myself and um, I think the more that I talk about it and the more that I stop trying to rationalize my bad decisions, um, the less I do it. So I'm just going to continue to take that route about it and see where it takes me. But y'all, I'm super excited. Um, I remember telling my grandma that I had lost 11 pounds. And she was like, it'll take me a whole year to lose 11 pounds, so congratulations. So, I mean, it's amazing how if you just stay out the drive through and make healthier uh, choices, going from fried foods to baked foods can give you that much of a weight loss difference. And I also want to shout out to ISOT. It has definitely helped me stay regulated throughout these 30 days. So, I definitely have to get in contact with... Um, somebody who has some tea on hand because I probably got about three more days worth of tea left in the refrigerator and then I'm going to be completely out of it. So I need to find that between today and tomorrow because I don't want to get, um, I don't want to run completely out. I want to keep my body regulated and, um, you know, I'm already extremely used to taking that tea. If y'all think that that tea is a joke or is a scam or that it doesn't work, you are wrong. You need to use that tea. Like I said, I prefer those brood packs, the ones that I showed y'all in the beginning of this video. Um, you know, you can buy the little sachets that look like they're in the little crystal light packets. You can get those. I just personally, I'm old school when it comes to using TLC products. So I prefer to brew my tea and make a whole gallon. But whichever way you want to try it, just try it. I'm pretty sure at this point, you know, a friend, a co-worker, a, a family member, you know, somebody around you that's selling those products because every other person is selling them. I sold them five years ago. So um, I know all about it and I wouldn't lie to y'all. I'm not, you know, I don't sell those products anymore. I haven't been a distributor, like I said, in over five years. And I'm still a consumer of the product. So that should tell you something. But anyway, um, that is going to be the end of this vlog. If you actually made it to the end of this video, then you know I appreciate you so, 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 so much. We're going to start our february vlog on february the first so i hope that you do come back and join me check out the rest of the um content that i have on my channel to see if there's anything there that interests you and if you like this video then please make sure to hit that thumbs up so that i know that you were here you are present and accounted for and if you like your girl and you want to support your girl in her journey, then definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you a part of the P-Hope family. All right, I'm going to close this vlog. I hope you guys are always be happy, be healthy, be safe. It's your girl P-Hope and I will catch you in the next video.